about four o'clock, so we're probably just gonna punch it up the track for um, a couple of hours and try and get a tent set up and possibly a fire before um, dark and settle in for a cold night and hopefully this weather lifts for the morning. Uh, we've just packed up our packed up our stuff, and it is going on about 7:30, so we should make it up to these hills up here in no time. So Henry's just come up Trumps and he's spotted a nice looking chamois. Um, not too sure how big yet but looks big enough. He stalked up on that fellow and he caught wind of us and buggered off so um, we didn't get him, unfortunately, but you win some, you lose some, I suppose. Um, we'll probably just head up this mountain up behind us here and try and get on top of him. We've just chased the chamois about half a mountain away and it's gave us a slip every time so uh, we'll give it to it and we'll head back to camp because it's sun slipped over the mountains and it's fucking cold. Uh, and we've just looked down the valley and there's one standing right on the rock. So it's fair to say they'll, they've won the game. Uh, about, I don't know, 30 minutes ago we came off the hill, uh, pretty dejected after not getting a crack at a chamois, but uh, came down here, it's going to be an interesting night sleeping on the snow, but we'll see how she goes. Once again we've been outsmarted by the chevy and this fella here has spotted us from over a K away so I don't know we have to change our game plans if we want to get up to them. So fucko's just taken up half of the chevy. He backs himself. We've got no faith in him. But he is there. The shimmy is way up here. Big updates in the shimmy Henry case. Henry has moved relatively close to the shimmy, um, but has no idea where it is. There he goes. Probably within a hundred of the shimmy now, and the shimmy's looking a lot more alert than it was. Climatic finish to the day. Bucko spooked the chamois and it ran about 100 metres below him and he got two shots away. 
and we think he has nailed it by the looks of his body movement so happy days so I've spent the last uh, about hour and a half to maybe two hours now um, creeping up on this one uh, we saw him from the bottom of the gully um, we think he's one of the same ones as yesterday and um, we had a bit of a mission I couldn't see him from where I was and Tom and Gus were um, directing me to it and uh, so we finally got in range with him as he spooked so he ran out from in front of me and I had a sh quick shot at him, missed the first time and um, nailed him the second time so um, here we are, we've got, got this nice chamois here now so I'm absolutely stoked So funny turn of events um, actually and she's decided to start snowing on us and it looks like she's going to pack in a little bit more than this as well so we'll have lunch um, and then try and walk out this river but not too sure how that will turn out Just made it out of the hut um, just before the snow settled, so happy days there. Uh, great hunt all around, really. The plan once again is to hit Mackie D's, get a, a couple of apple pies in us, a few Big Macs, and we'll be away laughing. Did he just yell out? <laughs> what happened? Was that fuck? Yeah. What happened? It looks like he's left something up the hill. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Ow. Hello. And the, the nerves are... <laughs> he just hit the deck. So, I've decided to go for a swim. And it's fucking crazy. It's actually snowing at the moment. But, you got to do these things sometimes. 